good picture down there. It's a beautiful picture. Okay, uh, everybody else is trying to be as quiet as possible. And uh, I guess we are in sync mode, right? Yes, we are. It's not a nice picture, but at least I will get uh, the time tag. The first thing I wanted to do is basically galley operation, and more or less I would show how we would do it uh, normally and how we would do it on a quiet period. normally and then pull out some things and then uh, restore and reopen it uh, as I would probably do during a quiet period. Are you ready? Mark. Good picture, and we're reading all. Okay, I'm glad, and uh, is this what Sam's was waiting for? It's just what they wanted, Mercio. Okay, that sounds good, I'm happy, and uh, I will reopen it, uh, being as cautious as possible. Okay, we got all of that. catching all this where it's you. I will do it uh, first a little bit briskly and then uh, reopen again and uh, reclose it uh, as close as possible.
notice here on our screen that on the SAMS uh, Z axis, exactly, on the SAMS Z X minus Z axis, it's very easy to induce uh, micro G disturbances operating the foot loops. Columbia, you can now wrap up Sam's. That was outstanding. Okay, well, we're always glad to help. Uh, so we'll just uh, stop the downlink and uh, we'll be standing by for uh, anything else they want us to do. That was really terrific. We enjoyed the tour also. And we enjoy talking to you, Star, you know that. <laughs> yes, sir.
you look at it, um, the probe is in there kind of loosely. And uh, when it first came out into the airflow, this one over here just kind of blew the probes right off of it with the airflow, I think. And then when the probe retracted, it hits all the way back, and then it just kind of floated back out for the rest of the run. Uh, just to give the PI a heads up on what happened there and how that looks. Copy. There we go. Well, we've had the uh, fans off by this time, but uh, you can see that that flame burns pretty good. Yeah, it's a little surprising how long it's burning. Columbia, Houston, we have our first 1,000-hour space shuttle time astronaut, Jeff Hoffman, 30 seconds ago. Well, I just got up a little bit early, Dave, so that I could uh, savor the moment. And uh, like I told you before, it sure has been fun getting here. And I look forward to... Uh, being joined by Franklin uh, at the end of the mission. So thanks for the good words. Roger that, Jeff. And we were just talking about your accomplishments, and uh, you've had some great missions, and uh, just done a superb job as a shuttle astronaut, and uh, no one better to be the first 1,000-hour person. We'll have to work on that patch.